Hello, and welcome to our House of the Dragon series of Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are playing as Corlys the Sea Snake of Valerian of Driftmark. Corlys the Sea Snake is probably one of the coolest characters in all of Game of Thrones, all of uh, Song of Ice and Fire. He sailed from this island to Atlantisport, the High Tower. He traveled all the way up here on his ship. He's traveled to Bravos, he traveled to Mir, Lys, Tyrosh, Volantis, he went to the Summer Islands, he went to, uh, I believe he went to Marine, Astapor, all these places. Karth, he even went all the way to Yaitai, Ling, and even Ashai, he even went to Ashai. And he also traveled across the Thousand Isles, Ibn, he's traveled, he literally sailed across the whole world. Uh, it's told in the, the Nine Voyages of the Sea Snake, and... There's this ship right there, the Sea Snake. He basically has a really, really cool backstory where he just sailed around, had adventures and stuff. If George R. R. Martin was immortal, um, I would say I would love a book series of the Nine Voyages. Shoot, I, nine books? That's nine books right there. If he could finish one. <laughs> All he needs to finish is Wind's Winter and the other one, uh, Dream of Spring. But, uh... That's probably not going to happen. But if he were to finish, uh, you know, Night of the Seven Kingdoms, Dunkin' Egg, uh, the next anthology books, I would love to be uh, the Nine Voyages of the Sea Snake. Uh, story, we are in the Dance of the Dragons scenario, uh, taking place during the House of the Dragon. Uh, the Sea Snake is in the lot with the Blacks, with uh, Rhaenyra, and the... The Rogue Prince. Uh, his son was going to be the king, and his children are were to inherit all of uh, uh, Aegon, uh, what was it Lucerys, all these. But let's be honest; these aren't her kids. <laughs> these aren't his kids. Uh, our son uh, Lenor was uh, was homosexual. And he married, or not married, he was killed by this Carl Corey guy. Killed, I say, but not really. It's rumored that he fled to Essos and lived his life there because, you know, he would have been murdered a long time ago. Uh, but his kids, kids, Adam Valerian and Adam Valerian, oh, sorry, hold on, blah, blah, blah. His kids are Adam and ah, Aelin. These two kids are actually most likely the children of the uh, Sea Snake. Uh, he probably was like, I'll, I'll do it myself. That's what Mushroom says. He's a court jester. He says they were actually uh, Merilda's uh, kids by me, the Sea Snake. So it's, it's a weird family. Dance of Dragons has a lot of weird family dynamics going on, which is very interesting. Uh, one of you guys wanted me to play as the uh, Keltiers in Claw Isle, but I felt like it would be more fun to play as someone with an actual army. Uh, also, Bartimus of Claw Isle, I would look him up. He does not have a very favorable end <laughs> to his story. Uh, this series will have a lot of spoilers for the Dance of the Dragon and the House of the Dragon uh, series. Um... So I'll just be mentioning them in passing. Uh, whenever they have something happen here, I'll have a... Uh, I'll bring up some lore about their family and stuff. Which I thought would be fun. Uh, what can we do? We have a thousand gold. Uh, we could hire mercenaries. That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I am in league with the Blacks because, well, she was married to my son. And Valerians will take the throne. And that's what we want. Uh, we definitely want that to happen. Uh, he is Hand of the King of Dragonstone. Uh, he is super, uh, super smart. He is a crazy adventurer. Uh, first off, we need... Where did this go? Or drift, uh, Driftmark armor. Yeah. Magnus at work. We now have armor of Driftmark. Sick. Look how good that looks. 
I'm playing with a lot of sub mods. I will have the how to install sub mods video installed uh, in the description. <laughs> installed. It will be in the description. Uh, okay, so we have all this money. Monthly cost four gold. Let's hire two. So we have about 8k now. Along with our men. So we have about 8.9k army here. Uh, Darren is our commander. He is my nephew's... Oh, wow, he was beheaded? See, some, some of this lore I don't really remember. Baymond Valerian. Uh, if I click this link, he was a... She had his head removed because he... Hold on. So Lord Corliss, eldest nephew, insists he should be... He should be Corliss, sole chosen successor, uh, claiming that they were bastards. Ooh, not a good... Not a good thing. Renera committed adultery. She did. Um, this would have simply uh, would have simply ignored the fact that Lena's daughter still stood ahead of him in line of succession. Yeah, true. In response, uh, she dispatched the rogue prince to seize him and had his head removed. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. So I'm gonna have his son command armies. Okay. See, a lot of lot of strange family dynamics going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> then we have Denny's. Uh, Denny's the Woodwhite. And we'll have the Captain of the Eight Banners leading as well. Uh, Corlys is old, 76 years old. His son, Adam Valerian, has a dragon. I believe he had... Um, oh, I'll have to remember what he had. So right now, what's currently happening is this scenario starts with... Uh, I think it's Lucerys or Jacarys who is chilling here, and Aemond One Eye is who I think is pretty cool. I'll be honest; like him and the Rogue Prince are so similar. It's so cool that they end up uh, being the ones to take each other out. Um, personally, I think the the Greens are a lot cooler. I think Aeon the Second has some pretty cool uh, scenes. Especially, I mean, he. He has a really cool, like, no you at the very end, uh, which I always thought was really cool. Um, really, uh, I lose all... First off, I was kind of on team uh, greens, but after what happened to, like, the blood and cheese thing that happened to uh, Jaharis, I, I kind of lost all, all faith in that. And then what happens... I really love the small folk revolt as well. That was really cool. With the storming of the dragon pit i thought that was one of the coolest things uh, a lot of people are <laughs> really um what's it called passionate in their choices for who they want to win the uh the dance um in the end uh i think it's the small folk who kind of get a little bit of a victory i mean they are able to take out the dragons and the starks of course this is a big w for the starks this whole story um i i think Craig and Stark is one of the coolest characters in the entire story ever in all of the Song of Ice and Fire. So it has all these cool characters. Let's get right to it. So we have to help our ally in this fight. We have to help her. We have an ambition. I want to set our house on the Iron Throne. And I will have family focus. My wife is still... My wife is actually... Aemon of Dragonstone's... Kid, so one of... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Reina, uh, this is the queen who never was. Yeah, so I always wanted... Valerian's on the, on the throne. She should have been. If we went by actual law... And if they didn't do the whole council, she would have been queen. I, for, I totally forgot about her too. Yeah, she would have been queen. Which would have made my son king. <laughs> so you can tell the Valerians really wanted the uh, the throne really bad. Change the song real quick. So let's get to it. We'll have this on speed too most of the time because uh, it is pretty crazy. Um, we have the see look at this. It's so cool that CK2 mod does this. We have the greens here with their symbol. And we have the blacks with their symbol. The Aaron Valerian Dragonstone. It should be black, but that's okay. 
so it's even we have houses that hate each other fighting each other we have bracken fighting for one side blackwoods fighting for the other uh we have the veil fighting for us um we have the three daughters getting revenge it's all set up it's so cool we have the three daughters setting revenge against the rogue prince because he destroyed their piracy on the stepstones all comes together the lannisters would help us but right now the freaking ironborn are invading them right now it's a really good scenario where a lot of stuff can happen um go ahead and go this way and i will bring my army to you Oh, 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 there you go. Chain my army to you. My son is right now with her. We have all the dragon riders. My son rides sea smoke. Yeah. yeah they have he has sea smoke as his uh thing, which is the daughter of my uh wife's dragon. All right, all council members. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just do all your other stuff. Um, I'll have you do stuff, but right now I can't have you command troops. I need you there. Funny, ironic that I have his, uh, I have his person whose father I killed. Not I killed, but had the person we're supporting is leading our armies. But he's loyal. My lord, your granddaughter tried to hatch a dragon. This is... Damon of Dragonstone and Lena Valerian's daughter. So it's uh okay. So it's his his daughter. Cool. Okay, he broke the dragon. So we're bringing our forces together. They have dragons. Ooh, dragon fight right here. There's our our queen. This is Rainey's. She ends up being like an awful awful ruler. Uh oh, speaking of it, all right, what happened? Queen Helena Targaryen, Rider of Dreamfire, ooh, and Princess Reyna Targaryen. Oh, she actually fought. It's funny, Helena Targaryen was like very meek and was more concerned about her kids, so she actually fought in this one. Rider of Cyrex meant fierce combat, driving their dragons to terror at each other relentlessly. Princess Reyna and Cyrex prevailed killing Dreamfire, but she's a kinslayer because she just killed her sister. And her dragon, Cyrax, is still alive. Still good. But she got burned in the process. What a dance that must have been. Yeah. Uh, he wants to visit stuff. That's fine. I'm going to actually disconnect. And I'm going to siege Stokeworth. That's what our, our army is going to be doing. I'm going to be sieging Stokeworth. Uh, you want me to command armies instead of Sir Tristan? Uh, yeah. It looks like an army is heading here. I gotta join this army. Help them fight. Another dragon rider. Melee is the Red Queen. Okay, hold on. News from Dragonstone. Princess Reyna Targaryen. Rainy's Targaryen, writer of Melee's, my wife, and Aemon Targaryen, writer of Vagar, fought each other. Met in fierce combat, driving the dragons to tear at each other. Relentless Prince of Aegon prevailed, killing. Oh, Vagar killed, killed my wife's dragon, and my wife is hurt. Aemon One Eye, One Eye is pretty cool too. He's got a swollen wrist and a one, and uh, looks like he was he was beaten up. Uh, he could have claimed the throne after Aegon was hurt, but he stayed committed to destroy. He's like, alright, fine, hey look, if my brother's hurt, I might as well be the regent. He basically became the regent and was like, I'm leading these battles and fighting. Um, I'll be king if it happens, but I gotta keep fighting and winning this war. It's only 19 at the same time. Dang. Uh-oh. News from Edgerton, my lord. In that... Iron Throne, Rhaenyra Targaryen, which is our our queen. Uh oh. That's not good. Met Vagar in fierce combat. Why would you feed me? Oh god, Vagar is 1v1ing. 1v what is this? 1v2? Vagar met in fierce combat, driving the dragons to tear apart each other. 
Prince Aegon Aemon prevailed, killing Cyrax. Oh no, Vagar. Vagar is killing his own children. We got maimed. What a dance that must have been. Uh, yeah, you can be the regent. No, I don't care. All right, now Jacarius Valerian, we're fighting for his his claim. Our grandson. He has Vermax. He has a lover already. Sarah Snow. Good, good for him. Um. Yeah, you can have some money. We need a Targaryen. Okay, we're getting more dragons. Uh, I think I should lead some troops. Where am I at? Alright, now I'm in Dragonstone. Oh no, and the three daughters are sieging. Trolled by combat. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Reyna has Cannibal? She... Oh, she took Cannibal back, dude. Does the world have a room for another dragon raid? So she was like, screw it, I'm gonna get a new dragon. Oh, that's so cool. She gets the most wild, crazy dragon that was like, most likely landed on Skagos. It's chilling, so she sailed. I would say my head cannon right here is like, she lost her dragon, she's burned, and Cordelius the Sea Snake is pissed. So he's like, you know what, I'll get you another one. So we sailed our troops. We sailed the Skagos to find rumors of the dragon of, of Cannibal. If anything could kill Vagar, it would be Cannibal. That's Valerian. That's a uh, yeah. That's Vagar's uh, si like sibling. Yeah, Cannibal can do it. Yeah, if anything can do it, it'd definitely be Cannibal. We're still technically winning, which is good. Got 20k men out here. Let's disband these troops. Uh, no. Okay. They're sieging me right now, which is not good. Um, I am his educator. Can I be his guardian? And his regent. Be brave against our enemies. Demonstrate brave and jealous and zealous. Yeah, I'll make him be brave. We just smashed the high tower army. That's good. That's really good. We gotta kick these guys out. We gotta fight them. Army of Hugh Hammer, dude. Hugh Hammer's really cool. He's one of the uh one of the Targaryen, um, he's holding dragons, so that's so cool! So Hugh Hammer is one of my favorite characters too. He, uh, was one of the, uh, dragon seeds that, after the Battle of Tumbleton, uh, decided, he's like, you know what, I have a dragon, I might as well be the Conqueror. So he tries to take, uh, he's like, he, he said he was going to take his army and march to King's Landing and take it himself. But the uh, Caltrops, especially um, the Roxton, with his uh, Valerian Steel Sword, was able to, uh, John Roxton was able to stop him and kill him in battle with Orphan Maker. But unfortunately he was, able, he was uh, killed. Because uh, I think Hugh Hammer switched sides to Aegon's side? I don't even know. Oh, he's marrying his daughter. All right. All right. Can we siege King's Landing? Can we take it? Siege of High Tide. Oh, High Tide was taken. The kids are still okay. Adam Valerian is a. He's a fighter. Okay, I can have him marry my kinswoman. I'll let him be for now. Alright, we can't siege King's Landing, but I'll just hold it here. Okay, I love my wife, that's good. 
Siege of Spice Town. Can you guys like take back my my lands? You guys are letting Driftmark be sieged. It's not cool. Oh, hold on. Are we about to take King's Landing? Why am I, uh, sick? Oh, I'm in hiding. Why am I in hiding? Oh, because I'm, uh... They told me to hide. Okay. Oh, we just siege King's Landing now. That's good. Oh, another freaking battle, man. News from the Red Keep. Sunfire, the Golden. <gasps> we just took the throne, man. King Aegon II, Rider of Sunfire, and Princess Reyna Targaryen, daughter, Rider of Cannibal. Let's go! Queen who never was, Rider of Cannibal. Met in fierce combat, driving their dragons to tear each other apart relentlessly. R Princess Reyna's Targaryen prevailed, killing Sunfire. Bro. Cannibal. He is in prison. We got him. We won. And another dance happened at the same time. News from Driftmark during the War of the Iron Throne. Princess Daemon Targaryen. Rite of Seraxes and Darren Targaryen. Which is the other brother. Rider of Tessarian met in fierce combat, driving the dragons tear apart. Darren uh, and Tessarian prevailed, killing Seraxes. Damon was imprisoned by me. What a dance that must have been. Uh, I will release him. Uh, I'll, I'll actually recruit him. Recruit him to my court. And you know what? So that peace can be achieved i am the regent of the iron throne i will ask for daemon the rogue prince to be put on the king's guard ah oh, you rejected the proposal ah oh, lame long live the prince dude a fierce duel broke out and the skies over drift mark toward each other and he gave it to me. Okay, so that was just a duel. Okay. So what now? Anna Valerian is the... Is the prince. And his regent is somebody else. So hold on. How do I become the regent? That's fine. He'll, he's about to become the... Uh, oh, he married Floris Baratheon. Okay. Because he had to choose which Baratheon to marry. Okay, he's, he's in my prison again. Well, I could seize Dark Sister from him, but I'm not going to. He's my friend. So who are we fighting? Raid on Cracklaw Baron? It's okay. So do we have peace now? Is he being kind to everybody? He's on the white book now. Request drag. I'm gonna request Dragonstone because I we deserve it. Uh, we will hold a feast to celebrate. Uh, who is on the? Where is the white book at? Ah, here it is. Who's on the King's Guard right now? Kristen Cole is still on the King's Guard. That's funny. I'm assuming he's not going to be uh, on it anymore. So we have peace. Train my children. Send out my marshal. A 
has to revolt. Looks like the Northern Army came, helped us out here. So we have the Valerians on the Iron Throne. We done did it. Tain of Valerian Steel Sword. Uh, Darren wants to marry someone. So I will find you someone to marry. I want him to marry a Valerian. <laughs> Again. Have more Valerian kids, please. I'm Hand of the King of the Iron Throne. Hell yeah. I can claim King's Landing so much. That's so funny. So cool that we uh we got the throne. A lot of cool things happening. Very cool. If we can just get dragons done, that would be uh that would be nice. So I'm still like he's my ward, right? Yeah. Nice. I made him uh, a good fighter. Let's end this episode with a ride to Valyria. I feel like the sea snake is almost 80. He could die at any time. Let's go to Valyria and see what happens. His last voyage, the tenth voyage of the Sea Snake. My wife just died. She died from her wounds. Rest in peace. I think there is an event that happens if you sail through. Valyria. Oh, am I not commanding these troops? I'm stupid. Um. Let me resign from the council real quick. Hold on, I'll become your Henry King in a second. I'm just sailing through Valeria. Ah, he made my grandson the Prince of Dragonstone. Okay, that's that's cool. That works. Combat. Okay. Well, we sold through Valyria. That's cool. Make me High Admiral. Thank you. I will make him my heir. Commander, I'll accept it. Where else should we go? Where else should we travel? Let's travel up this way. Daughter was born between him and oh Alan Valerian and Amara. Oh, that's not good. Kids be cheating on each other. 
Alright, who should you marry? The Westerlands? Shara. Third daughter. Nah, that's not fit for you. Lady of Tumbleton. Or the Rain. Let's marry into the Rains. House Rain. All these adventures. And then back home. You want a castle? Sure. Once we get back home. We will end that there. Oh, they, they want a duel, huh? Uh, I will disallow it. You can, don't duel my grandson, please. Alright, well, we just won that House of the Dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed that lore series right there. I think the next one we're going to play... Uh, these aren't going to be series. These are going to be little... Uh, I think I'm going to leave Crusader Kings 2 off until I get a... Uh, I calling it to doing an actual series. I think actually my next series is going to be the Rogue Prince and creating the Targaryen Kingdom of New Valyria. I think that would be really cool. I uh, hope you guys had fun watching this. I uh, hope you guys liked the lore. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.